Well, it seems that regulators are pushing back against Rogers' $26 billion acquisition of Shaw. For more on that, let's go to Tyler Orton from Business in Vancouver. Tyler, what's the main issue here, and how is Francesco Aquilini's name getting involved? Well, it's very interesting. The big sticking point for Canada's Competition Bureau is the fact that Shaw owns Freedom Mobile. And the Competition Bureau is very much against the idea of Rogers owning two out of the country's four largest wireless providers. Now, already there's been reports that Francesco Aquilini has been in the mix as part of the acquisition to uh, acquire Freedom. Um, another company, an internet provider known as ExploreNet, that's also been in the mix, but th there's issues there because it's backed by a U.S. equity firm, and that's kind of a no-go when it comes to wireless services here in Canada. For now, Shaw and Rogers, they're vowing to move forward, except they're going to have to push back their date of acquisition from June to July to somehow buy some more time to find a suitable buyer of this uh, Freedom Mobile moving forward. Very, very interesting. I'm sure a lot of eyes will be on that. Okay, almost 100,000 Canadian customers may be the victim of a data breach at IKEA. What's the latest on this one? Well, maybe some relief for Canadians. IKEA Canada is saying no financial or banking information was revealed in this exposure of data here. Instead, they're talking about the personal names, phone numbers, email addresses, even postal codes of customers. That's still some very personal information that I'm, I'm sure nobody wants out there. Um, the other thing is that the loyalty program numbers may have also been exposed as part of this data breach. IKEA says there's no action needed to be taken by customers right now, and it is taking steps to make sure this doesn't happen again. For now, it's gone straight to Canada's privacy watchdog to ensure that this has been reported, and it wants to make sure that this just doesn't happen again because was, uh, an employee was involved with the search in which this came up. So that's why it's a little bit concerning. Yeah, concerning, no doubt. They'll find out how many side tables I bought over my lifetime which is probably greater than 10. Tyler Orton Business in Vancouver. Thank you, sir.